tell yourself you're doing it right, you, you think you're doing it right, making some small progress, but not the progress you expected, you're just, for some reason, not making progress. Welcome back again to Build by Nando Coaching and Fitness. Today, I got one of my favorite topics. This one, I think I've done probably three videos of the same topic on Facebook, on Instagram, um, but now this is going on YouTube. And our topic for today is why are we not making progress? A lot of you guys are constantly thinking, man, I've been perfect with my diet. I train every day, right? You, you, you tell yourself you're doing it right. You, you think you're doing it right. Making some small progress, but not the progress you expected. You're just, for some reason, not making progress. Guys, there's a reason why you're not making progress, okay? If I get too hyped up in this video, it's because there's too many of you guys constantly making these excuses on, you know, but it was too hard or I couldn't follow it or I had to go out with my friends and I, I, I drank some beers and ate some pizza. Um, I was just so lazy, I couldn't work out, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, guys, step one, okay? Number one reason, the number one reason, okay, why you're not making progress, all right? Very simple. You're not following the program. Most of you guys are not in the program. So you might be saying, but Fernando, I don't follow a program. Why am I making progress? Okay, well, that's a legit argument. You're not making progress because you're not following a program. That makes sense to you? Okay, you're not following a routine you're not following nothing so you're not following anything how the hell are you supposed to know that you're gonna make progress i'll explain more number two you make too many mistakes making mistakes what are mistakes today's monday i ate perfect i followed the program i follow a diet i follow whatever the hell i'm following okay but then on Tuesday, I had a uh, meeting at work and they brought donuts. I just had one mistake. I'm not supposed to do that. You're in a program, you're following something to get from point A to point B. That means you have goals, right? If you're trying to have your goals met at a certain time frame, right? You, you need to understand something. You cannot be committed to mistakes because that's gonna delay your progress. It's not gonna ruin your progress. It's just gonna delay your progress. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you're okay for delaying the progress, don't blame later why you're not making progress because your progress is delayed. It's like you did order something from Amazon and they're not here yet. Well, it got delayed somewhere else because there's someone else committed a mistake. So you're gonna have to deliver your package later because of that mistake. Hopefully that makes sense. Don't commit mistakes. What are mistakes? Whatever you don't follow a program, those are mistakes, okay? If you're not eating pizza, if you're drinking that beer, that extra wine, or whatever the hell you're not, you're not supposed to be doing, right? You're making a mistake. You're committing a mistake. So there's a program. Follow the program. Simple as that. Follow your training, follow your nutrition. Number three, you're not tracking your progress. Yeah, very simple. You read the program, you follow the program, but you're not tracking anything. You're not tracking your body fat, you're not tracking your weight. I don't wanna weigh myself because uh, psychologically speaking, it's just so hard. No, you have to weigh yourself. How the hell are you supposed to know you're making progress? You need measurable you know, ways of, or you need things to be I can't even say this. You need ways to be able to measure measure your progress. Hopefully that makes sense. Weigh yourself, body fat testing. Um, progress pictures, progress pictures are big for me. Every client, I like progress pictures. Hey, progress picture, I need progress pictures. How do you know you're changing? 
Well, you need to see it. Compare yourself from week two, week three, week four, whatever the, you know, when you start it, right? Progress pictures, they're amazing, okay? Track your progress, guys. Another way of tracking your progress is not just measuring your progress by a number or pictures or something. Also, you gotta be able to write down. Some of you guys have apps, Fitness Pal. Maybe, you know, you join my online programming or personal training and you have an app. I give you an app, right, for you to track um, your calorie intake, for example. You ate this for breakfast, you eat this for snack, and this for lunch, you're tracking it. You're, you're, you're putting it in there so your trainer can see everything. You can go back and see if you committed any mistakes. Okay? If you're gonna modify anything on your nutrition plan or in your training plan, you need to log it. When you log things, you can later on see where did you commit a mistake? Did you commit a mistake? If you didn't, you know, what, what went wrong? That's The point is you track your progress, you can actually evaluate it back later. You can go back and see what you did, okay? Hopefully that makes sense with tracking your progress. It's pretty simple. Just write everything down. Everything you put in your mouth, write it down. Everything you do for training, write it down. Um, and then, you know, do your body fat test and you, you, your, you know, get on the scale and do progress pictures and measurements and et cetera. Okay. Number four, okay. not being consistent. That probably falls into making mistakes. That falls into not tracking your progress. That falls into almost everything. You need to be consistent with everything, especially your nutrition and your training program. Okay, that needs to make sense to you guys. Okay, you need to be consistent. So, I'm supposed to train five times a week. Just set an example. Okay, I have to train five times a week. Then you train five times a week. Next week you train three times a week. The next time you train two. Then you train five. Then you train three. It's, it, it's not consistent. You need to be consistent with your progress. If I ask you how many meals that you had you know, yesterday, oh, I think I had two. You're supposed to have five. You're supposed to have four. I know, I committed a mistake, okay? You're not being consistent with your progress, okay? Which is not gonna make progress if you're not being consistent. You have to be consistent, okay? If you're doing 12-week programs, you have to be consistent through the whole 12 weeks. That's how you see the changes, guys is the only way to see your changes is to be consistent with your program do it the right way over and over and over and over and over etc okay number five you may be confused what yeah you may be confused a lot of people don't they starting right they start this uh this diet plan or this you know training program and during that process, they're confused. They don't know how to weigh in their meals right. They don't know what they're counting. They don't know if this is a mistake or if I eat this, is it a mistake if I eat that, right? So the reasons why, you know, you might be confused is because of lack of knowledge. And if you do not communicate with your trainer, your coach, your nutritionist, your doctor, whoever it is that you're reporting to, you're not going to make progress. Don't stay confused. Don't feel like you need to do this on your own. Guys, listen to me. Don't do this on your own. If you do not know what you're doing, you need professional help. Very simple. Communicate. Send an email. If I got a client, if you're my client, right, and you're watching this video, and you're like, man, I haven't told Fernando about, you know, this training program that I have so many questions about. Let me send in an email or a text message. Once you guess on my number, my number's everywhere. Okay, you can go to my website. That's my literally my cell phone. Okay, you can contact me if you want to. Ask me a question. If you're confused, ask a question. Okay, learn, educate yourself. You're not confused anymore. You can continue making progress. That should make sense to you. Okay, and number six, the last one. You don't finish your program. You don't finish what you're starting. Most of you guys just commit so many mistakes and they get discouraged and they don't finish. Most of you guys are not consistent with your diet so they get discouraged and they don't finish. Most of you guys just blame the fact that you're not making progress and you just don't finish. If you don't finish, how are you supposed to know you make progress, right? If you're doing a 12 week program and you're six weeks in and you're not making, supposed to not making progress, you're confused with your training, you don't know what you're supposed to be eating you're just doing whatever the hell you want or creating your own ways of dieting or training, 
you're just gonna be like, you know what? I'm not making progress, I'm just gonna stop. Biggest mistake ever. You need to finish your program. The reasons why we finish our program, guys, is so we can evaluate later at the end what went right and what went wrong. If you committed too many mistakes, it's okay, that's fine. Okay, we can deal with that. Let's go try again. Let's restart this nutrition, let's restart this training, and let's do it again. Next time, don't commit so many mistakes, right? Be more consistent, measure your progress, take your pictures, take your measurements, weigh in, etc. If you have questions, ask them, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. It's very, very basic here, guys, to understand why you're not making progress. If you fall into any of those six that I just mentioned, easily, okay, any of those six, one of them, one of those, those mistakes, guys, you're delaying your progress or you're not even making any progress okay so if you're asking yourself again and you're looking yourself in the mirror or you're getting on the scale and you're like man i'm not losing weight or i'm not gaining muscle and you're just asking yourself i just i don't have the genetics i this diet didn't work this keto diet didn't work or that pescatarian diet didn't work on vegan that didn't work nothing works i tried everything really I can guarantee if you tried everything, that means you tried everything wrong, the wrong way, okay? So you need to try something basic that can, you can start with, okay? Some basic fundamentals on how to start in nutrition and how to train. I've done videos about this, okay? Go back and look at how to restart your nutrition, okay? How to train, you know, how to develop a workout, right? If you are just in need of help, communicate with me, guys. Message me down below. Okay, write a comment. Go to my email, builtbynando at gmail.com. Go to my website, builtbynando.com. You can have a contact form in there. Send me an email, okay? Or send me a contact form and go straight to my email, the same thing, all right? Guys, you can contact me in so many different ways. You can go to my Yelp page, okay, at Build by Nando. all right? You can find me almost anywhere, all right? Guys, don't forget, subscribe okay for this channel so you can get more information support this channel and for those that are already subscribed guys i really truly appreciate it thank you for reaching out also to me and asking me to make some more videos um that's what encourages me to get back you know to the camera here and, and just talk about some basic things about nutrition and training fitness and health right and keeping things basic okay um hopefully you guys like this video thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't that's okay with me Again, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and press that button right now. Just really quick, just, just press that button for me, okay? Very simple, just press it, all right? And um, guys, if you have any more suggestions, any questions, any feedback, comment below. I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for supporting me again. This is Built by Nando Coaching and Fitness. Until the next one.